Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'du ahabbatu fillah one of the ways that we can uh, gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, is by following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam mentioned in a hadith al-Qudsi that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that he is pleased with his servant worshiping with extra prayers and extra ibadat. So to earn Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love, it means to increase your ibadah. Doing the wajib, that's an obligation. And by leaving a wajib, you gain sin. Doing the wajib and perfecting it, you gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Doing extra, coming close, you, you're seeking to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing more, then you will receive the immense reward of that. Bi'idhnillah ta'ala. Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala, he mentions a great uh, benefit about the about doing extra prayers and gaining uh, this, this love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said, Allah will not love you until you love his beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, both internally in the heart and externally. Believe him, obey his commandments, reply positively to his call, resort to his judgment, prefer his love over the love of others, and prefer his obedience over the obedience of others. Otherwise, do not overburden yourself. Go back to your previous state and try to find another light or another pathway because you are not on the straight path. So, Ahabatibillah, this shows us, Ibn Al-Qayyim was giving a strong response to those who believe that they have a path other than the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And those who do not give preference to uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his Sunnah and his light and guidance and judge by his, his rule, by the Shara. So Ahabat Tifilai shows us very imp that uh, the importance that following the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is not just lip service, it's not just a cliche because a lot of times we say Ahl Sunnah, you hear we say Ahl Sunnah, uh, Ahl Sunnah Tiwal Jama'ah, Ahl Athar, Ahl Hadith, and so on and so forth, or Salafiyun, or Ahl Salaf Salih. But all of that means those are claims or descriptions or descriptors of the one or ones trying to adhere to the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that means if they are to actualize that call and actualize those names that they wish to uh, associate themselves with, then that means they have to love the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam internally and externally and exhibit it. They have to uh, follow the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from the small things to the, to the larger affairs. And they have to bring their judgments back to how the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam judged. And that requires love and sacrifice. And that requires being truthful about the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And if you want to gain the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then it's by following the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and loving what he sallallahu alayhi wasallam loved and disliking what he Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam disliked and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be from Ahl Sunnah, those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are pleased with. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.